Joker Folly Do hits theaters this weekend, and its previous movie was able to win two Oscars and get nominated for a variety of Oscars you know, during its campaign season last time. There's a lot of anticipation for this sequel movie. Does it live up to expectations, or does the bottom fall out of it as it tries to be too many things in one? Well, let's get into it. Yes. There's a lot of things I have on my mind when I'm talking about Joker 2 here. First off, we're going to start out with positives. This movie has, I think, amazing production design, the makeup, the setting, the lighting. So much great work in the crafts categories, you would say, of the Oscars. I think... You know, Todd Phillips and team does very well here. Um, the You know, the parts of Gotham you see that are great. The prison sequences are great. The overall sequences, you know, that you see, you know, Joker and Harley have throughout the movie, I think are fantastically shot and put together and are just really a testament to, I think, the high-level craftsmanship from this movie. You also have some very great acting being done by Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur Fleck, or as more people would like to know him as the Joker, as he battles himself and tries to figure out, you know, you know who he is after what happened in the last movie. Is he accepting his Joker identity, or is he still struggling with that um, post Joker one? And then you have Lady Gaga playing Lee or Harley Quinn, and as much as I love Gaga and her performance in here. I do have to say the character of Harley Quinn feels very null and void overall in this movie. So as I move past my positives, the production design, the craft stuff, the hair and makeup, all really well done, cinematography well done, um, the acting all around, especially from the leads, you know, Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix, we have to talk about the sad truth about Joker Folly Do. And that is, it has trying, the story was trying to be way too many things at once. And the direction of Todd Phillips here, I feel failed at being able to control what exactly this movie was trying to be. And in all reality, with it trying to be connected as a sequel or even just connected to the universe it found himself in. And whether it's trying to have musical sequences and be, you know, tell the story of Arthur and Harley through music, or trying to be a courtroom drama, or trying to be like a character study, personal character study of either Gaga's, you know, Harley Quinn, or mainly Arthur, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's, or you know, Arthur Fleck. This movie just is so disjointed, and the story gets so lost. And doesn't feel like it's, you know, matching itself in different areas. I have to say the first half of this movie, it wasn't like it was a great movie. But I, you know, I was accepting the story we were getting in this first half. I was accepting the production design. And I was interested to see where it went. But I am sad to say the second half of this movie, especially as we get more towards the third and final act and the act, you know, ending of this movie... I just found to be so disconnected and disjointed from what was being set up in the first movie and much of the first half of Joker Folly Do. And it is really just became a point of just not enjoying the movie overall. The musical scenes, especially some of the extravagant musical scenes, I think could have been done in an interesting way, but they were just so poorly timed in and felt so disjointed from the actual plot and where we're at in the movie that they didn't really live up to their full potential in what I think Phillips' vision was. Overall, it's this is one of those ter- tough movies where I feel the storyboarding and the direction that choices that were made in this movie are so severe, it will take away all of the high praise that I would be giving to things like the acting, the production design, uh, hair and makeup, cinematography, even the score at points, because you have to sit through this over two hour movie and enjoy it. And it really leaves me here with a sad, sour taste in my mouth that I'm having to give, you know, Joker Folly Do a silver rating. Not because I don't think there aren't great things you can take away from this movie and enjoy about this movie, 
but the plot is so disjointed and the second half of this movie doesn't even feel like it wants to be a part of the first half of this movie. And it definitely doesn't want to be a part of the same world or same setup that it had from Joker 1. It is so disconnected. It is very off-putting and just feels like you're wasting your time you know, while you're watching this movie. And the ending is, again, something that I just left myself wondering... Why did I see this movie? Why did I waste two hours of my life um, for that ending? And I just am just worried about, you know, people's reception to that. I can't deny some of the good that happened in this, you know, all around. Like, I've, I've been giving praise. But it's just one of these sad times where everything is so dependent, I feel, on the story in this movie being enjoyable for you and being able for you to watch and take this. And it's not like it's a depressing story feeling. It's not like it's a dark story feeling. It's just a Nolan Void story feeling, and you makes you wonder, why did I spend my time even in you know watching this? So I'm giving it a silver rating just because I appreciate all the great acting that takes place, all the great crafts that take place. But the story, the direction of this movie is bronze level. So if you're not somebody who's looking to enjoy good acting performances, good, you know, other stuff like that, this isn't going to be for you. Um, but I'm happy to hear what people have to think down in the comments below. Am I wrong about this? Are you higher on this Joker movie than I am? Do you, are you agreeing with me? I don't know how well this is going to do in theaters. I it just it feels like a bummer of a movie and not in a bummer of a movie that you know, the movie feels like it's trying to be that. A bummer in the movie that it feels like the movie didn't know what it wanted to be. Um, that's my thoughts on this movie. Again, I just, I love a lot of the production stuff and the, and the acting and the craft stuff, but the plot and the story is just so, so badly written and directed that it makes this a very tough recommendation or watch for anybody outside of those who would enjoy those things like me. I'll see you for my next review. And again, like and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. And really, tell me your opinion down below if you've seen this movie because I love hearing everybody's opinion about movies and what they feel and think. So see you later and have a great weekend if it's the weekend for you.